All right, I'm gonna show you how to put racing seats in an IS300 using the stock seat rails from the power seats. I actually did this a couple of years ago and I couldn't remember how I did it. And I tried to Google it and I couldn't find anything on Google. So I just figured I would document the whole process again for anyone else trying to do the same. So this little tab right here, it catches on a piece of Teflon back here to stop it from going out. So you have to slide this all the way forward as far as you can get. I got the piece in there so it won't go. Slide all the way forward as far as you can get. And then you have to hammer it from the inside with a punch or a screwdriver. Or you could cut that little th piece out. doesn't really matter. But I did it <clears throat> a couple minutes of hammering. So then once you got your reel out, you can go ahead and take that nut off for like the 10th time. Because you have to keep going back and forth with it. With this method, I'm gonna have to uh, take the seatbelt buckle <clears throat> out of this uh, seat frame here uh, in order to still retain a seatbelt in the car. Um, this has a plug for it, so I'm not sure if I don't plug this back in, if I'll get a seatbelt light. Um, either way, I'm gonna try and take it out with all the wiring and stuff uh, to keep as much as I need to, and then maybe try and uh, plug that back in so I don't get a seatbelt dinger or whatever. All right, so once you've rendered your old seat completely useless, uh, it's time to take the rails that we have here and throw them in the car so we could do some mock-up before we drill the holes for the racing seat bracket. And now it's time to have a beer. Or you could take this moment to vacuum where your seat used to be so that the YouTube world doesn't see how disgusting your floor has been for seven years. So these are pretty much only go in one way. They have an angle on one side and a nice bend on the back side. Um, but if you're easily confused like myself, you can take the time to mark these rails in and out for inside, outside. Uh, I mean, they pretty much only go on one way, but if you got the, uh, if you got a road on there, I guess you can't confuse yourself. What we're gonna do next is uh, thread the bolts in for the seats and uh, get them down all the way nice and snug with the um, with the ratchet so that the rails aren't sliding around because you want this to be pretty straight and accurate when you make your marks for where your seat's gonna go. All right, so once you get the seat on top of these rails, you're gonna wanna sit in the seat, kind of get yourself comfortable uh, and then make a mark in reference to where you wanna uh, mount them because once you do this, you won't be able to slide the seat around. So you could put it in a place that's comfortable for you or kind of a middle between you know front and back so that passengers have ample foot uh, space I'm a really big dude so I'm probably gonna slide this a little bit further back than most people would all right so because of the way that these rails sit uh, from factory they're actually on the other side uh, they're too narrow for the OEM rails to fit uh, what I would say safely so I just went ahead and swapped the rails around, um, you know, this one for that one, and flipped them around and bolted them down. That's all good. Uh, I have glee through uh, the slots here and also the first slot, or the second slot on the C rail, which coincidentally enough, when I lined up my mark where I wanted it with uh, the seat rail, this bolt actually fits right through there and is the perfect length. However, I don't have a nut that will go on this, so I'm gonna just run to the hardware store and either grab new bolts the same size or uh, just grab nuts for these because I think I have enough to put for in the seat, but ended up working out uh, pretty good. Due to a supply chain shortage, I will not be using the bolts that I originally intended. I wanted some nice shiny chrome bolts. Uh, they did, they were out. So got some zinc mixed with some stainless lock nuts so make it happen all right so once you have your uh, seat with just so there's only one bolt in the front on each side and then you bolt down the whole seat rail to get it where it needs to be and once you have that bolted down and everything clears um, snug your front bolts on both sides tighten them as tight as you can get them because that's where they need to stay 
and then remove the seat rail bolts one last time, take your seat, go flip it over and drill the holes for the final back bolts, which you should still be able to utilize one of the holes on the factory um, seat rail. So drill just one, one small last hole and then throw it back in and bolt it down for good. All right, so we got the passenger side bolted in all good. Took a lot of finagling with the brackets once I had it mocked up to get it where I needed to be tightened. One thing I'll note is that when I originally flipped the brackets on both sides, I really should have only flipped the bracket on the inside. So this one, um, this worked on these NRG seats. It worked for brides uh, a couple years ago when we did it. So it should work on all of them.